Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to change your splash screen. This is for all 320 by 480 resolution Android devices, so the G1, the My Touch, the Hero, uh, the Galaxy, etc. If you don't know if you have 320 by 480, look it up. Um, if you do, then you can continue with this procedure. So if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com. Spell like that in the address bar. Uh, look for the how to change your splash screen procedure. Before we begin again, you must have 320 by 40 resolution. If you don't, don't use this. Um, you also must have root access, so you have to have gone through our how to root and a how to load a custom ROM procedure um, for your phone. Once you've done both of those and you have a custom ROM uh, and you have root access, then you can continue on with this procedure. Okay, you need ADB setup, and more specifically, you need Fastboot setup. So click on the link right there, it'll take you to how to set up ADB. Follow that procedure completely. Once you got ADB working, then you can come back to this. Okay, we need to check what SPL we have. Um, so how we do that is we turn off the phone. Okay, once it's off, we're going to hold down back and power and keep holding it until fast boot comes up. Now at the top here, you'll notice a bunch of writing. Uh, you need to look at that right there, the H boot version. If that matches any of the ones that we have listed on the site, you're okay to continue. If not, you can continue anyways because um, some of the SPLs will still work regardless if they're not on that list. Um, but once you get to the flashing of the splash image, it'll tell you not allowed or something like that. If that happens, then you know you need to change your SPL. So then you can go to our how to load a custom ROM video for your specific phone and load an SPL that way. Once you have the right one or one that'll work, you can go back to the procedure and continue. Okay, if you want, you can create your own splash image instead of using ones that people have already made. You can do that by clicking on this link here to download the splash creator. Okay, once you download the splash creator, you can right click it, click extract all, extract. Okay, and then you can double click the file. Inside you'll see create, and then we're going to click on the create g1 splash.exe. It's a very basic program, you'll see. And you can just select whatever image you want by clicking open. And then just click convert at the bottom there and it'll save it as a splash image within this folder here uh, that you can grab and use the flash. You can actually need to find a splash image that you want to flash. Um, so you can either use, we have a link there for a collection of splash screens uh, that someone sent in, or you can use the one that you created in the previous section. Um, so once you have the one you want to use, you need to take it. We're going to rename it to Splash just to make things easier. You're going to leave the .rgb565 or .nd. Uh, uh, and then we're going to copy it, so Control c And we're going to put it in our Android SDK folder that we set up for ADB. And inside the Tools folder, right-click, Paste. Okay, so it should be in the same folder that has the ADB program in it. Okay, now we need to turn off the phone, and then we're gonna turn it back on by holding down back and power until it says fast boot mode. Then we're gonna plug it in, a USB cable. It should say fast boot USB now. And we're gonna open the command prompt by clicking start menu, typing CMD and hitting enter. And then we're gonna type what's written on the site. Uh, you don't have to read what I'm writing here, just write it from the actual website. And the last thing you type here is the name of the splash image, so mine's splash.rgb565. Yours may be splash.nd, depending on what format you found your splash image in. And click enter. Sending, writing. And then we're gonna do fast boot, reboot. Okay, then when the phone reboots, it should show your custom splash screen, and you're all set.